So I'm going to answer two basic but important money questions, and I'll be back in a minute. Morning. This is Jan from New York City. Channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. I love helping people like you keep more of your own hard-earned money. How are you today? Hope that everybody's doing well. There are two questions. They're simple to listen to. The answers are basic, and yet they're very important questions. What am I talking about? So I looked this up. I wanted to make absolutely sure of my answer. because This is not a Jan from New York City answer. This is from experts that I have researched online. Okay, so some people are a little bit confused as to how much of their paychecks or their income should go toward savings. And that answer is 20%. And that's actually in alignment with the 50, 30, 20 rule. It's a guideline. So let's say 50% of your income should go to your, let's say, basic like necessities, like your housing, uh, food, things of that nature, things that you have to absolutely have. 30% goes to discretionary items, entertainment, things of that nature. And 20% should go to savings. So for those that don't know, 20% of your income should go towards savings. The next one has to do with emergency funds. What is a good amount of money to have in your emergency fund? Okay. And the answer to that is this. Anywhere between three and six months, at a minimum, if you want to go a little more, great. At least three to six months of living expenses. Now, that doesn't mean that it's three to six times your salary. No. Three to six months of what it costs you per month of your regular expenses that get you through, get you by that month. So an easy way to calculate it is to sit down and add up all of your honestly and be honest about it, your expenses every month. Don't hide it. Those, you know, little trips that you, you know, shouldn't be taking to those coffee places. Just saying, just saying, but I'm goofing on that, but multiply that by the desired end goal. If your desired end goal is three months worth of emergency fund saving, they multiply it by three. If it's six months, multiply it by six. If it's beyond that, multiply it by whatever number that you want. See, here's the thing. We know the basics now, which probably a lot of you listening already do, but there are some people that might not be familiar with it. And I really, really wish they would teach more financial education uh, to kids and young, you know, younger kids in school and everything. But it's a, you know, a wish of mine. I hope it happens. I really, really do. So anyway, getting back to this. So you have to ask yourself, are you on par with what should work or can it stand improvement? I look at it this way for many people. It could stand a little improvement. All of us, every one of us, what can we do to generate more income? What can we do to cut back now? <clears throat> Excuse me. This brings me back to once again, I snuck in a poll <laughs> last week, basically the same question. Would you rather bring in more income as opposed to cutting back on expenses or would you rather do both? And some answered both, but not shockingly, once again, the answer turns out cut back well. Okay. So now let's say the person says, <coughs> allergy time, says, but I, I, I don't have 20% to, you know, to save. I don't have 20% for my savings or emergency fund. Well, that's where you tap the 30% discretionary on the shoulder. Hmm. And you really have to figure out where there could be that leaky wallet syndrome going on. Because that's a really good place to start. I know and I'm sure that everybody listening wants to succeed and wants to keep saving. By utilizing these simple methods, the math of it is actually quite simple, but it's the daily living choices that we make that for some might be a struggle. 
Some people can't see a day without ordering in or going to a restaurant to eat out. For me, this is mind boggling and baffling for people that in their heart of hearts want to save somewhere it has to give. You just have to figure out what works best. All right, everybody, don't forget to share this video, click like and subscribe. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care of yourself and your family.